Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA is still dropping these Team of the Year SBCs. And yes, we're talking about the player SBCs, right? Yesterday, we had the flashback Pogba that so many people were excited for. It finally dropped. I want to talk about this SBC and how it moved the market. But I also want to talk about upcoming leaked SBCs that we have. There are two big names that have been name dropped and that have been leaked on Twitter. It's making the market move and yet again, we are surprised with some big SBC leaks. I want to take a look at that and how those are going to be shaping up and when we could see those in this game. And of course, take a look at what could happen today on Wednesday as Team of the Year Defenders are in packs and Team of the Year Icons are also in packs. Team number two of those icons, but they go out of packs really soon on Fridays when they actually go out of packs is what it says. So I want to talk about that. Could EA be putting Team 1 and Team 2 of those Team of the Year icons back in packs at the same time this weekend? We'll talk about that and what to expect today on a Wednesday of FIFA 23 content. If you're excited for these leaked SBCs, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's roll right into the leaks. First one is the big one. Another flashback. I don't think we were expecting a third flashback SBC. We had the Ramos, right? We just had the Pogba drop yesterday and EA Sports says, hey, we're doing another one. Foot Sheriff leaks this Sadio Mane flashback SBC for most likely his team of the year when he was in team of the year in FIFA 20. The only time he's ever been in team of the year. He's had a couple of team of the year honorable mentions cards like uh, FIFA 20. He had the nominee, of course, everybody did. In 21, he had the honorable mention as well. Didn't have anything as a, a part of team of the year last year, but this is probably a flashback to FIFA 20 where he had the actual team of the year card. This is big, right? This is a big name player and it's just kind of crazy because it's an attacker, right? We've had a defender, we've had a midfielder, and now we have a big flashback attacker. It kind of makes sense, right? But this, to me, feels like the SBC that we might see on Friday with the drop of honorable mentions, the 12th man, and everything in packs, potentially. That's what I'm looking for this SBC, either Thursday or Friday. I mean, we'll kind of talk through the details of it and what we think later on during the week. But this just seems to be like the big ticket SBC that EA would want to drop on a promo Friday. And again, like we said, it's a big name playing for a big club as well. Bayern, uh, he's got a couple other special cards already, two 92s and a 90. This is probably going to be a 93, 94 rated card, maybe even 95 if EA give him a really, really big boost. This might be our most expensive flash back SBC uh, that we see yet, right? We thought Pogba was going to be expects and he actually was not. He was a bit cheaper than we thought. Um, so maybe this is going to be our big time flashback expensive SBC. With this card being 500k, you would expect that this SBC probably going to be 750k plus. Maybe EA will give him five star skills. Maybe they'll give him some sort of massive boost um, that is going to make this thing really insane. But already, Sadio Mane's cards have started to drop as people see this leak. And of course, links to this Sadio Mane are flying. Take a look at Leon Goretzka. A lot of these Bayern links exploded yesterday. He went from 470 all the way to actually about 700k he was selling for for a quick minute. Back down to 470 is now back up to 530k. Alfonso Davies is another one. He was all the way down at his normal price of 310,000 coins. Went up to like four or 500k for a quick second. Came back down, but is still inflated in price as people are expectant of this Sadio Mane SPC. This is going to be a big one, honestly, guys. Like this is huge because part of the thing is we don't have that many uh, Bayern cards uh, in the game this year. I feel like the Bundesliga, uh, or we don't have that many Bundesliga cards in the game this year. I feel like this league has been like, I don't know, misrepresented. We haven't had that many great Bundesliga cards dropped this year. Yeah, we've had some. We've had some good Bayern cards. We have Jude that's in Team of the Year, of course. But the Bundesliga hasn't been shown the love from EA Sports. And I think because of that, you're going to see more rises on the market on players um, that are from the Bundesliga because people are going to have to go out and buy cards to get this money in their team. And I also could see this SBC being one that maybe people don't go and do because it would be pretty difficult to get in their team. So I understand both sides of the coin, but we're just going to have to wait and see how insane the Sadio Mane is when he is dropped because that could be a very meta card and a very popular card in this game. And of course, watch out for those Bayern links. Watch out for those Bundesliga links because they might be increasing in price and hold a lot higher value if this Mane is insane 
and if he drops and a lot of people want to go out and do him. So that's the first leak of an SBC that is upcoming and that's the biggest one. Now, another one that's a bit of a surprise, actually, we don't 100% know if it's an SBC or not. Richarlison is added to come as a team of the year moment. Stats are a prediction. This does not really say if it's an SBC or an objective. Now, Richarlison, not entirely sure what even this moment's team of the year card would be for. Um, maybe just because of the gold that he scored at the World Cup, but I thought that's why we got the World Cup Stories card earlier on. Who knows, maybe we didn't get the World Cup Stories card for that, but this is interesting because Richarlison's already had an objective this year, his ones to watch. He's already had a card in packs, the Stories, and now we have another one here. So, Again, I don't know if this is an objective or an SBC. It might be an objective. Uh, of course, we had the Gundawan that was dropped as a moments card as an objective last week, uh, and he's still available right now. But this maybe is our objective upcoming for the second week of Team of the Year. Not entirely sure. So this is a leak they were kind of unsure about, but it definitely made the market move yesterday, specifically some of those Tottenham links. Ivan Perisic went from 70K all the way up to 112,000 coins. He's now at 91,000 coins. I think a couple of the Hyunmin Sun cards moved around in price just because that's a pretty popular card. Brazil links, five-star weak foot, good stats. That's going to be, especially if it's an objective, that will be a really, really good value objective. A great Premier League striker to get FIFA-wise um, for free, right? Just playing some games, spending some time on the game through an objective card. So if that is there, if that's an SBC, hopefully EA give him a nice juice. Some people are not a fan of this because it's like, We've had multiple Richarlison cards already. What's the deal? So that one we're a bit confused with, not entirely sure about. I'm happy as a Spurs fan, but uh, we will maybe see that dropping as an objective or an SBC. We'll just have to see uh, if Foot Sheriff has any additional leaks. But right now we are a little confused with that one. Now still we have the um, impending release of an Mbappe player of the month and we can't go without mentioning that in this video today as well. I really think that Mbappe player of the month would be in the next two days. I doubt it would be today but it could be and then of course tomorrow on Thursday. Thursdays are the days where they drop League One player of the month. It would make sense if they dropped it tomorrow then and we'll just have to see because again as we looked at initially this video it is confirmed to be coming by EA themselves so we'll see. Hopefully that's dropping on Thursday. Um, but still a bit of an unknown on when exactly that might be. Now, let's talk about stuff that happened yesterday because there's a lot going on in this game. The Team of the Year Defenders. And the first thing I want to look at is some of these crazy prices for some of these defenders. Like, blowing me, like, it's blowing my mind. It really is what this is doing. Because why in the world is Virgil van Dijk 1.9 million coins right now and Hakimi is 2 million coins as a 94 rated. Guys, this Hakimi card is just about the same as his team of the year last year that was like a million coins on release day and dropped all the way down to 600,000 coins while he was in packs and while the full team was in packs. But yet this card right now is incredibly rare and so expensive. It makes literally zero sense. I'm honestly shocked to see this day one price. But again, it's day one and things will probably even themselves out. And we'll just have to see. Like, I, is the Ramos SBC that hype that this card is... is being held up this much in price because of the Ramos. I don't think that's the only factor here, but it's crazy, right? This card is, if you look on the market, just so, so rare, but I feel like that's going to change when the full team comes out into packs. But nonetheless, the defenders, they look nice. They look solid. Teo Hernandez, 1.7 million coins. He was around 1.5 earlier today. Even in the low 1.4s, he has bounced back up. These defenders started off hot. They dropped down, dropped down for a couple of hours. And now they have rebounded back up, gotten over their nighttime rarity. But I would honestly expect these guys to drop down a little bit further uh, today, right? I know there's not a ton of pack supply today, but EA are still running the lightning rounds. Just about, uh, you know, every couple of hours, they dropped the tradable lightning rounds yesterday. They dropped the elite pack plus the defender pack only lightning rounds. So they're still running a lot of packs and I would expect them to drop more lightning rounds and more packs today just because it's team of the year, right? And they're absolutely going to do that. I mean, they're even running untradable lightning rounds right now. They've got like a one day lightning round on these jumbo rare players packs that they have put out. It's basically a lightning round that doesn't go out for an hour. It's out for like an entire day. So those will expire later today, uh, a couple hours after content, actually. So those will be there until they probably go away. They'll all get bought. But, you know, EA is still supplying these cards and they're still getting packed and putting them on the market. So I would expect their prices 
to drop down a little more today. And especially as we think about tomorrow being the big day where the full team is probably coming in packs. You can see right here, right? Defenders are available for one day, 14 hours. So tomorrow on Thursday will probably be the day where the full team drops. They, I doubt they take a break and have nothing in packs. They will probably drop the full team in packs on Thursday as we expect. And then after that on Friday, they'll be adding in some more cards. So that full team date though, that is what we have to watch out for as a lot of the team of the years will probably begin to drop off in price even today. You know, if you have a Benzema or a Messi or even any of the midfielders, I would be a little bit careful with these guys because I feel like their prices could start to drop off as soon and as early as today as people start to sell and to get ready for the full team being in packs tomorrow. So watch out for those sales. Watch out for those prices maybe dropping off a little bit. Now, let's talk about team of the year icons because that is a very interesting situation as well. It's also very difficult to search these guys up on the market. Um, the first team of team of the year icons, you could search up by their name and then just do quality and click on their prime icon. But for a lot of these guys now, you have to actually just search by the team of the year icon design and the nation, right? Like if I want to search for Nesta, I can't type in Nesta and search. It's very annoying. It makes them a little bit harder to find. And also the servers at this moment, I'm recording this video are abysmal. So I don't know what's going on here, but Jordan Muller, 1.599. That's the cheapest that I've seen him, but these guys they're moving a bit on the market and we did have some nice upgrades for sure. Of course, the headliner in this team is Ronaldinho, right? Nice upgrade for Ronaldinho. Not anything super duper crazy, but two pace, two dribble is pretty nice. Nice dynamic image. He's got the same positions as his uh, prime card does coming in at a very expensive 12 million. He was just 9 million coins, but these guys are all going to be very expensive uh, for day one prices. Now I was just trading with a couple of these like Nesta went from 650 all the way up to about 717, which is where I just sold mine. A nice pace boost plus eight pace for Nesta. A really, really big upgrade on his card. That's a GG from EA. The Gerd Muller upgrade is not that big. If you take a look here, he only got plus ones and plus twos all around and only plus one pace. We would have loved to see 90 pace on that card there. Makalele got a pretty solid boost as well. Um, you know, five pace makes him look just as good, maybe maybe even a little bit better than what people often compare uh, Makalele to as the uh, comparison to Conte, right? He also got a weak foot boost as well, four star. And then, of course, as a part of this uh, team of Team of the Year icons, we have Vandersar, Ashley Cole, and uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Van oh, yeah. Vandersar and Ashley Cole. The Jabi Alonso is the only one left. That, of course, is going to be an SBC. Now, the interesting part about this is these cards go out of packs. I don't know if it's going to show me the little infographic here or not. These cards go out of packs on Friday. It doesn't show me the infographic, but. Friday is when the team of the icons will be leaving packs, which makes me think and makes others think that they might be replacing the team one and team two with of these cards. Uh, they might be placing both of those teams into packs. So all the team of the icons would be in packs on Friday since these guys are supposed to go out in such that short term time span. That makes sense to me and to a lot of us that we're talking about it. So be very careful if you're owning these cards because they will probably start to drop off towards the end of the week as well. I do believe these guys are all very overpriced. Like I don't know if Zanetti is worth 1 million coins. I don't even know if Pirlo is worth 700K, just my opinion. But a lot of these guys seem to be very rare, very high in value. And if they get put back in packs, they will get panic sold off on Thursday, probably and on Friday. And then of course, uh, when they're in packs, they will get supplied a lot more this weekend with so many people wanting to open packs when the full team and honorable mentions and stuff is going to be out so be very careful with those cards but that's kind of what we're thinking based off of how the timing looks with those now let's talk about pogba a bit because this is the sbc this is our only sbc that we had for content yesterday and ea gave us a pretty nice card is it absolutely insane no it's not absolutely insane but he got a big pace boost he got a big physical boost he got a big defensive boost he is holy gang with two stats in the 90s almost three if they would have given him plus one passing he would have been there but five star skills four star weak foot for paul pogba same positions as his gold card a lot of people look at the pace and they say man this card is unusable but guys i really think this is a solid sbc it's kind of comparable to the Ramos, where a lot of people said Ramos was overpriced. Yes, I said that as well. I do agree with that. Ramos is a bit overpriced. This Pogba, I think, is a little bit less overpriced. I mean, if you put this card on the market, 
because it's Pogba, I still believe he would end up being about 500k on the market. Maybe he's overpriced a little bit, but you can tell a lot of people are a fan of this. A lot of people went out and did this, and it's an SBC that, again, is going to be very craftable during Team of the Year when we're doing upgrade packs. And if you take a look at other big-time midfielders on this game, people are doing this Pogba SBC. Take a look at Yaya Toure, who, by the way, is at 78 pace, but people say um, is too this Pogba is too slow with 81. Anyways, Pog, or this Yaya went from 590 all the way down to 537k. Had a bounce back and is back down again. A lot of your elite to mid tier, kind of like four to 500k midfielders, dropped off in price yesterday, specifically because of this Paul Pogba selling those cards to go and do this SBC. Right? That's called a substitute. Um, good. That comes onto the game. People sell what they have to go and do this SBC. And fodder, of course, went up, right? SBC fodder cards went up around the game. Now, it also did help that we had the um, 88 plus icon refresh yesterday. So if you held your fodder yesterday, was again, a great opportunity to sell these cards like 86s and 87s, especially since EA are running the lightning rounds and supplying these guys. It was a great opportunity to sell these cards yesterday in the hype of that demand and in the hype of that kind of SBC hype. So GG's, if you sold those there, they might go up a little bit more today. Uh, the higher tier stuff, like 88s and above, those cards I think you can keep holding like we talked about because you've still got to play the month Mbappe. It's going to require some high rated squads. He's going to be coming out soon. You still have more SBCs like the Javi Alonso, like the Mane we just saw and the Richarlison potentially if it's an SBC. A lot of opportunity out there for high rated fodder to keep going but as we also see every single day with these cards as they spike up but then come back down all the lightning round pack supply really takes a toll and you can tell that it's happening because these guys spike when there's sbcs and then they drop down afterwards wait till we get to friday right this is why i recommended selling the 86s for sure if they're impacted by uh, the packs that are being released in the middle of the week when not as many people are opening packs. Wait until we get to the weekend when a ton of saved up packs are opened and all of this stuff gets packed like crazy. So same thing with the 83s. If you have 83s, I would look to sell those whether it's today or tomorrow or maybe even Friday morning before all of the pack supply hits. Maybe even it's today, right? Because tomorrow on Thursday, the full team of the year team is expected to be in packs, which may draw some people to open their saved up packs and open some lightning rounds. But of course, we know Friday is the bigger day with 12th name and with the honorable mentions. So I would be careful with the fodder if I have it, but you're seeing really, really nice gains. So you're making great profits. I'm not investing in any of this. Yeah, you could probably quick flip 86 is like every day they go from 16K up to 20. They may not go all the way to 20K today uh, since we don't have an icon SBC refreshing, but that's kind of what's going on with the SBC fodder market. Now with this Pogba dropping, a lot of people invested in some certain cards, whether it was French links or whether it was other links that were from Juve, um, a lot of these cards actually went down. They were very over-invested because this Pogba was hyped up. There was so much hype and there were so many people that were going to do this SBC when it dropped and it didn't quite live up to the bill, right, of all the hype that was there. And there was a lot of over-investing. It's sometimes really hard to see when there's a lot of over-investing. But when a card like this goes from 40,000 coins up to 70K or basically what he was yesterday before the Pogba dropped, and then if people see the price of the Pogba SBC and they're like, okay, it's good but it's not fantastic. That is what happens. A lot of those cards dropped off yesterday. Rabio is a perfect example of one that absolutely got smoked in price. He was like 112, 120,000 coins, went all the way to 70K and is now back up into the 80s because of just a ton of sell-off there. But there was a lot of over-investing. So if you ended up selling into the hype, that was the play but I just think a lot of people were expecting Pogba to be even greater than this, right? We're talking maybe a little bit more pace, a little bit more passing, and maybe even more dribbling. And since this card is still very good, and if you compare it up to the Yaya Toure's, and if you compare it up to like mid Zidane, it matches up very, very well with those cards. It is a great SBC. It's not like a wow factor, right? It's just, that's good. It's not like Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insane. So I still hope to get either this done or the Ramos done. I'm going to do one of those two guys during team of the year. It's very craftable. It's going to be able to get done super duper fast. Uh, but again, we, we thought this Pogba was going to be our marquee flashback SBC and cost like a million coins to do and be absolutely insanely juiced. And it just quite wasn't there, right? It was a great value one or a good value one. We'll say that, but it's just not, you know, 
making us all go, oh my goodness, this this Pogba is absolutely insane. So that's kind of what's going on with the Pogba card there. And, uh, you know, with the market in, in general, these brand new Team of the Year icons and the defenders, like we said, they're very overpriced. So we don't want to hold on to those. With the rest of the market heading into this weekend, what do we need to look out for? What do we need to be careful of? Definitely be careful with your rare cards like trading with these has been very nice but if people start to get kind of panicky or if people start to think about everything that's going to be going on this weekend there's a lot of SPCs to craft there's a lot of packs to be opened a lot of coins are going to be drained as well as people go out and open packs but also then go and do SPCs right I mean today on Wednesday could we see another type of gamble pack uh, by EA to try to get us to spend some coins and make fodder go up I mean we've had the 83 times three midfielder and attacker already released during those respective releases. I do expect to see the 83 times three defenders upgrade today. We still have an 82 times tenants in the code that we have not seen dropped as an SBC yet. Could this be today or tomorrow a last chance effort from EA to say, hey, we're going to drop you an SBC pack to do kind of like a gamble pack. Go and do this before the full team is out or before whenever you want to open this during team of the year happens so that you can drain a little bit more coins out of your club. I feel like we're maybe going to get one more of those gamble SBCs. Could be today. Might not get a player SBC today, right? They've been doing kind of the every other day sort of thing with the player SBCs. So maybe today is a bit of a quieter day, but that could be a really good opportunity to sell some cards uh, on this market that are just up a lot as we head into the exciting really really exciting part of team of the year in the next couple of days now also today on wednesday what to expect with content we should be getting a team of the week and i want to take a look at maybe footman's prediction for this team of the week 13 today we have a very interesting situation with erling holland because holland deserves a team of the week card and i guess we don't have a picture in here all right i guess we don't have a picture but holland i thought was going to get a uh, team of the week but then you think about it he was in the voting right so if you're somebody who has invested in this wants to watch erling holland be very careful with this card and watch out for the leaks today because we'll see if ea um put mares in or put somebody else in ahead of holland because technically if he's going to have a team of the year card because we do imagine he would win the 12th man vote then he probably would not get a team of the week technically he could there's no written rule that says that he can't get a team of the week but then that team of the week card would only be in packs for like two days before Friday when the team of the year would be in packs. And then it would just be like, okay, what's the point of this team of the week, right? So I don't imagine he would get a team of the week, but we'll see. Who knows? EA can do EA things, of course. So watch out for that. But a new team of the week today should hopefully bring some new cards to this game. And also it might bring uh, some new fodder cards to invest in, right? The the fodder informs are starting to rise from this team, right? 87s, 22K. Dybala and Thiago Silva were like 27. Now they're 30. Some of your lower tier guys, like the 86 Diato, is 15. He's now 17. So you're starting to see the inform fodder rise up a bit. We could get some new informs this weekend, which could also be very investable as we head out of team of the year. And as there just are so many SBCs out there for us to craft and to do, that's why we're holding strong on the inform fodder. If we've been talking about that, if you invested uh, with me when I did that, definitely keep waiting for that right there. So I expect it to be a little bit more of a quiet day today on Wednesday. I, I really do. I honestly do expect it to be a quieter day today. So we'll just have to see how that translates to the market. But yesterday was a really good day for flipping. There's still gameplay demand out there. I don't know if EA is going to be gifting everybody the, the champs points again. I feel like they would have done that earlier on in the week. So I don't think they're giving away the foot champs, uh, you know, points again so that everybody can qualify and try to be in the weekend league. It honestly just like, looks like it's going to be a normal weekend on this game. So happy trading, happy crafting, and happy upgrade pack building because, uh, you know, I'll give you guys a quick tip as well. If they run more lightning rounds today on Wednesday, if you're in the late night time zone, or, you know, late night, I'm talking like like when this video goes live, look at this, 700 coins for the gold rares on the market, probably easily winnable on bid at 650 in the late night hours, especially with lightning rounds as well. You'll be able to get these guys for a little bit cheaper before we head to the weekend when, of course, all those players are going to be in packs and the upgrade pack grind will be in full swing. So I'm going to build more some, some more upgrade packs today, and hopefully we have a nice day of Wednesday content on the game today. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think about those leaked SBCs for Mane, for whatever Richarlison's gonna be objective for SBC. 
and what your guys' thoughts are on the Paul Pogba. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Food Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.